My name is Somya Dev. I'm from India. I'm a grad student in uh, McKenna Lab in Department of Chemistry at uh, UFM. I did my master's from uh, University of Glasgow, Scotland, before joining uh, under the supervision of Dr. Sean McKenna. The, the basic idea of my research is uh, characterizing RNA protein interaction. And uh, we picked the interesting terminal regions of Western virus as our RNA partner. So these uh, viral RNA have characteristic uh, structures that have uh, potential to activate innate immune system proteins. So what we try to see is uh, we pick few innate immune system protein as targets of these viral RNA and see how they interact. Uh, what we do is we transcribe our own RNA and we make our own protein in either bacterial cells or in mammalian cells. So in the beginning, it was all about uh, optimizing the conditions for making these proteins. And once we have our uh, in vitro transcribed RNA and the protein in our hand, then we go on uh, doing performing different experiments. So the basic experiments was to show how whether these uh, RNA and protein interact. So you can do basic ex experiments like uh, an electrophoretic mobility shift assays to see whether they interact. If they do, then whether these RNA that shows binding with these proteins have the capacity to activate these proteins. Usually the protein targets we are working on are uh, in vitro, in our innate immune system proteins, but that are enzymes as well. So we have different assays uh, that include colorimetric assays and uh, also activation assay, assays via Western blotting we show that this RNA have the capacity to activate these innate immune system proteins. And after this uh, activation and binding characterizations, we go on to see whether we can characterize them using more advanced techniques like analytical ultracentrifugation. So this technique enables us to see uh, the binding and the, and the unbound fractions of uh, these RNA and protein. And before we go on to do analytical ultracentrifugation or the subsequent experiments on uh, solution conformation, we check their purity and uh, monodispersity using a dynamic light scattering. So, so we do that dy dynamic light scattering and analytical ultracentrifugation. Then the next idea is to find the structural aspects of this interaction. So the basic uh, technique we use or in our in-house uh, instrumentation we have is a small angle X-ray scattering. So this enables us to get an idea of the solution conformation of the different biomolecules, may it be RNA or protein or in the complex. So usually what we do to achieve or to purify the complex is we mix the RNA and protein and using a size exclusion chromatography, you, you purify the complex. And we characterize using a DLS to show that these complex are not falling apart. So we then, as I said, we use a small angle excess scattering to characterize this, the con solution conformation of this uh, RNA protein complex as well. Uh, in between these uh, different techniques, we also look into whether we can achieve or whether we can sh uh, shortlist any part of the protein or RNA to be a suitable candidate for high resolution uh, structural studies. So we set up crystal trays from like uh, mutated versions of protein or truncated versions of protein and RNA to see that whether we can crystallize them and go on to do high resolution structure. We have in collaboration access to a diffractometer that enables us to check uh, the, the crystals we obtain from our uh, crystallographic plates. So after all these interactions in vitro and the, the structural studies, we also perform in-cell related experiments to show that all these experiments are possible in, in a cellular context. So we have different uh, cell lines and we try to show this interaction between uh, in vitro transcribed RNA with a protein that's expressed in cell in an endogenous level. And if the protein expressed is uh, not up to the level that we can pick it using a Western blot, then we try to overexpress these proteins. So after overexpression, we 
try to see whether we can pull down this uh, protein of interest using the RNA that we showed that binds to the in vitro assays. So if we are able to pull down the protein of interest using biotinylated RNA, then uh, the next step is to do is uh, do it in a, like a reverse way where we pull down the protein and see whether the RNA, if transfected, can be pulled down or pulled out with it. So we do a co-immunal precipitation to show the interaction is possible, vice versa, like using the RNA, we pull down, like we pull the protein out, and with the protein, we pull the RNA out. So it's a kind of a complete package where we start with the in vitro analysis, we do the kinetic assay to show that uh, the, the RNA are capable of activation, not only binding, but activation as well. We do, as I said, we do structural studies in, uh, using small angle assay scattering and, uh, and crystallography, and we characterize all these interactions via uh, in, mam like in mammalian cell experiments.